Hello and welcome back to the Metasploitable tutorial. In this video we're going to talk about these two ports right here, 8009 and 8180. These ports are running a service called Tomcat, Apache Tomcat. So go ahead and do a little research on that. We will be able to pop a shell with this one and so see what you can find. See maybe some mo uh, common misconfigurations of Tomcat and that sort of thing. Poke around a little bit, see if you can find a little more information. Go ahead and pause the video. All right, welcome back. If you were able to figure out how to gain access with this service, good job. If not, I'm gonna show you how I do it. Again, I've said before, there are multiple ways to exploit these services usually. If you find a way that's different than what I show in this video, please put it down in the comments or share it on our Discord. I would love to know different ways to do this, and I'm sure other people would too. So, let's get into this. Now, we can figure out the version of our Tomcat server by just opening a web browser. going to our um, Metasploitable machine port 8180. We can see that we're running Tomcat 5.5 up here. Do a little research on there, we'll find that it's vulnerable. Also, something you may or may not have found is that the default username and password for Tomcat is username Tomcat, password Tomcat. We will we'll be able to use that as well. We're going to go ahead and open up Metasploit. I'm going to use the exploit, uh, exploit multi HTTP Tomcat manager uh, deploy. And we have our payload set to a meterpreter reverse TCP shell, that will be handy. So let's just go through these settings and set what we can and what we need to. So that HTTP password, we'll go ahead and set, set that to Tomcat since it's the default. Set the HTTP username also to Tomcat since that's the default. We'll need to set our hosts to our virtual machine. We're going to have to change our port to 8180 since that's where our service is running. And everything else looks good. Our L host, is that correct? Just double checking. Oops, didn't mean to exit that. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. And boom, we have a shell, but let's see who we are. So we're Tomcat55 is our username right now. So we can do plenty of stuff as Tomcat, but that's an unprivileged user. Ultimately, you would want to do some privilege escalation and get root. Uh, in this video series, we're not really talking about privilege, privilege escalation, though. You know, well, okay. We can we can do some privilege escalation on this one, because it's pretty straightforward, I think. Uh, can I do this? No. So let's go ahead and... We'll background this session. Backgrounded as session one. Uh... We can use, I think, we can use Linux local udev net link. Yeah. We'll set the session ID to one since that's where our session is. And that all looks good. Hopefully this will give us root. No user. Hmm. 
Ah, we are root. Okay, cool. All right, and that was a simple privilege escalation. Sometimes privilege escalation is more complicated than that. In this case, it was as simple as using another Metasploit script. Anyway, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.